Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. In this video we will show step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows and the length of the red color pipe piece between these elbows in the 3D model of a pipeline. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. In this video, we will try to explain with examples in the a 4 inch pipeline how to calculate the distance between the centers of elbows cut at 50 degrees, how to calculate the center to end dimensions of elbows. And finally, we will show calculation rule the length of a piece of red color pipe in this pipeline. As you can see this 4 inch pipeline comes first horizontal then vertical up with 50 degree elbow and then continue horizontally with 50 degree elbow again. At the same time, the pipeline has turned 30 degree to the left horizontally, looking from the second elbow to the first elbow. To make it easier to understand the turning of the pipeline from the second elbow, I have shown the turning part of the pipeline inside the parallelogram. As you can see, the first elbow in the pipeline is located in the lower right corner of the parallelogram, and the second elbow is located in the upper left corner of the parallelogram. To find the length of this inclined piece of pipe between the elbows, we must first calculate the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows. Then from this distance we subtract the lengths of the two 50 degree elbows and the spaces for welding. As you can see two right triangles are formed with dashed lines after the pipe line rises vertically obliquely and turns 30 degree to the left from the second elbow. Let's mark the vertical right angle triangle formed by dashed lines with blue color and hypotenuse of this vertical blue right angle triangle with big letter H. The hypotenuse of the vertically blue right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Also, mark the horizontal right angle triangle formed by the dashed lines with red color and the hypotenuse of the horizontal red right angle triangle with small letter H. Now let's begin to find the lowercase letter h, which is the hypotenuse of the horizontal right angle triangle. In the red horizontal right triangle, one of the angles is 30 degrees, and the perpendicular side in front of this angle is shown as 400 millimeters. We will use the trigonometric function formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. According to the trigonometric function sinus 30 degree is equals 400 divided hypotenuse h. We will use scientific calculator or phone calculator for find sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree is equals 0 0.5. If we write 0 0.5 instead of sin 30 degree then the 0 0.5 will equals 400 divided h. We continue h will equals 400 divided 0 0.5. At last we will using calculator and h will equals 800 millimeters. 800 millimeters is the hypotenuse of the horizontal red color right angle triangle and is also one of the perpendicular sides of the vertical blue right angle triangle. Now let's find the big letter h, which is the hypotenuse of the vertical blue right angle triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula again in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, big H squared will equals 800 squared plus 440 squared. Continue to calculate and found the H squared is equals 833,600. We continue, h is equals 833,600 under root. At last we will use calculator and found h is equals 913 millimeters. 913 millimeters is the hypotenuse of the vertically blue right triangle and is also the distance between the centers of the 50 degree but weld elbows. So, the overall length between the centers of the 50 degree but weld cut elbows is 913 millimeters. 
If we subtract the lengths of the 50 degree cut elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the puller pipe section. Now let's calculate 50 degree cut elbows lengths. There are different ways to find cut elbow length, we will use a simple formula. Formula for calculating center to end distance of such cut elbows is as follows. Elbow length is equals tangent, elbow degree divided by 2, multiplying 38.1, multiplying nominal pipe size of elbow NPS. Now we are writing our elbow information at this formula. For inch 50 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension, will equals tangent 50 divided 2 multiplying 38.1, multiplying 4. And using scientific calculator and found 4 inch 50 degree, but weld elbow center to end dimension will be equals 71 millimeters. Now, after finding the lengths of the elbows cut at 50 degrees, let's look at the fitting process of the elbows to the pipe in this pipeline. During fit up, such are opened between the elbow and pipe to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the red color pipe section. Let's start to calculate this red color pipe section length now. Pipe length is equal, total length 913 millimeters, minus 2 times 4 inch 50 degree but weld elbow dimension 71 millimeters, and minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 millimeters. Finally, we calculated and found that the length of the 4 inch red pipe in this pipeline is 765 millimeters. By using this method, you can easily calculate lengths of pipe pieces in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you have any question about video you can write comments in the comments section. Other channels offer the information we provide on this channel in a paid form. We share all these educational videos with you free of charge. You can help our channel grow by watching our videos until the end and leaving comments or likes. By watching and liking our videos, you will help the development of education YouTube channels. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping engineering channel. Thank you for watching see you on next video take care.